Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline with the Khan Academy Kids team and I'm here today with my friend Sophie. Hi Sophie. Hi Caroline, hi friends. I am so excited to be here today for Circle Time. What have we got on today, Caroline? We are gonna talk about ladybugs. <gasps> friends, do you know what ladybugs are? Let me ask one of our friends. Oh, I'm hearing small round bugs with spots. And they can be red and, or orange or I think maybe yellow. Oh, hmm. Some of our friends sent us some drawings of Rhea's bug. So let me start with that. We're gonna start with our show and tell today. So. Here is Eden. Yes, Eden sent us this drawing that she did of Rhea's bug. Oh. That looks like a big ladybug. And Eden had a message for us. She wants everyone to look after nature and love all animals and bugs. Oh, thank you, Eden. What a nice reminder for us all. And we also had a drawing from Iman. And this is Rhea's bug. Look at those eyes, those big eyes on that ladybug. Yeah, that is really cool. Thank you, Iman. And Hadi sent us a picture of his Rhea's bug. Oh, nice one, Hadi. So it was great to see all of those Rhea's bugs. Rhea really loves bugs. And she especially loves one special bug. And that bug, her name is Joy. And she is a ladybug. Let me show you a video with Rhea and Joy. There's something under my blanket. It could be anything. Words like something and anything are indefinite pronouns. We use them when we don't know exactly who or what we're talking about. <gasps> They're not so scary, though. And so now we will read a book about ladybugs. And this one is a blast-off reader from our friends at Bellwether. What are ladybugs? Ladybugs are colorful beetles. Their polka dot bodies stand out. Red, orange, or yellow covers hide ladybug wings. The covers are hard and rounded. Huh, I didn't know that the wings were under the covers. <laughs> Neither did I. That's so clever. <laughs> yes. Ladybug legs are short. A ladybug also has two small antennae on its head. Ladybug life. Ladybugs make their homes in grasslands, forests, and gardens. Wow, look at all of those ladybugs, friends. Ladybugs help farmers. They munch on pests like aphids. In winter, ladybugs hibernate in big groups. They come out again in spring. Ooh, do you know what hibernate is? Some animals and bugs like to sleep through the winter to stay out of the cold. And that is called hibernation. Growing up, a female ladybug lays hundreds of eggs. Larva break out after a few days. A larva attaches itself to a plant. When it is big, it becomes a pupa. Mmm, lots of fun words in this book. Uh-huh. Lava was the egg, and then it became a pupa. Uh-huh. Then the insect changes again. The pupa becomes an adult ladybug. Friends, that was an interesting book about ladybugs. Have you ever been outside Have you and seen a ladybug? Oh, yeah. I have. I still think it's very lucky when you see one. I don't see one every day or even every week. It's a treat when I see a ladybug outside. And our friend Sadie was very lucky. She found a ladybug and she's going to show it to us. She sent us a video 
of the ladybug. And then she's going to show us a nature walk that she went on where she collected a lot of things from her walk and then made it into art. Can we all say hi to Sadie? Wow. Hi, Sadie. <laughs> hi, friends. I found the ladybug. Come get my arm. Today we're going on a nature walk. We collected many wonderful things. Just a baby country. I wonder if they will grow up that far. Bye! I hope you like my video. I miss you. Thank you, Sadie, so much for taking us outside and showing us your art and all the things that you collected while you were outside. Yeah, friends, don't you think that was a great idea to get outside if you can? and collect some things from nature and then make some art with them. I loved that idea. And friends, it's time for us to say goodbye for now. Goodbye from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. See you next time. Bye friends. <laughs>